We're continuing with the Chapter 7 area for response question worksheet. Uh, number 3 here. Let R be the region bounded by the graph of f of x and the x-axis. So here's region R bounded by the curve and the x-axis. Uh, let S be, let's see, L is the line tangent to the curve at x equals 3. So there's the tangent line to the curve at x equals 3. And that's going to also, uh, this tangent line is also going to act as a boundary for uh, region S. Region S is bounded by the graph of F. So is, uh, region S is made up by the curve on the left, um, the line up top, and then the bottom, the x-axis. So it's this little triangular region here. Okay, for A, it says find the equation of the line tangent, uh, or the line L written in slope-intercept form. So uh, we, if we want to find this tangent line equation, um, we need to first find out some if, uh, given information, right? We need to find out order pair, and we need to find the slope at a point. And then once we have a point and a slope, then we can put it into point-slope form, and then uh, the problem is asking for slope-intercept form. All right, so we know a point on this curve is going to be at 3. So uh, if I plug 3 into this curve, then I can find out the y value. And that y value will also act as an order pair for um, the tangent line. So if I plug 3 into the function f of x, plug 3 into uh, the x, so 4 times 3 squared minus 3 cubed, um, that's going to give me 24 minus 20. Sorry, uh, give us 9. All right, plug in 3 into the equation. So that's the order pair. 3, 9. Now if I want to find the slope, I can use this curve as well because if I find the derivative of this curve, r, um, of, uh, oh, sorry, of f of x, then I can evaluate the derivative at that point and then whatever the slope of the curve is at that point, it's also going to act as the, cur uh, the slope of the tangent line. Um, uh, so if we find the slope of that curve, we also have the slope of the tangent line. So um, to find the derivative first, we can go through power rule. So 4x squared becomes 8x, 3x squared, sorry, x cubed becomes 3x squared. And then we can evaluate the derivative at 3 to find the slope at 3. So plug 3 into the derivative. 24 minus 27 is negative 3. Order pair is 3, 9. Slope is negative 3. Point slope will be y minus 9 is equal to negative 3 times x minus 3. And if I put it into slope intercept form, distribute the negative 3 through and then combine like terms y equals negative 3x plus 18. Part B, find the area of r. So to find the area of r is simply just top minus bottom. Uh, so the curve uh, is going to stay consistent as the um, this top curve is always staying consistent uh, with f of x and the bottom is just going to be 0. And then we're going to find the um, integral, depth integral from 0 to 4. So from 0 to 4 the top curve, 4x squared minus x cubed, the bottom curve is 0, so minus 0, and then just um, work through power rule or plug in the calculator, we get 64 over 3. Part C, find the area of S. So region S, we have to be a little bit careful here because we can do top minus bottom, um, but notice that the bottom, um, uh, the bottom of this graph is changing. If we do top minus bottom, for this region here, the top is the um, the line, and the bottom is going to be the curve. So top minus bottom, it will be consistent bottom curve all the way until this uh, dotted vertical line. Because after to the right of this vertical line, the bottom curve of this region S will suddenly change from f of x to the x-axis. So the bottom curve is changing. So the, since the bottom curve is not staying consistent all the way through region S. We have to split this up into two separate um, area problems. Top minus bottom for the left region and the top minus bottom for the right region. So uh, for the left region, um, the equation of this tangent line or this uh, 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 of this uh, um, of this linear uh, equation is negative three x plus eighteen minus the curve, which is um, the cubic minus four x squared minus x cubed from 3 to 4, so from 3 to 4 will be this region, and then from 4 to 6 will be this triangular region of the negative 3x plus 18 minus 0, and that will give us 7.917.
number four, we have the equation given by f of x, and that's this curve that you see here. R is the shaded region in the second quadrant, bounded by the graph of f, and S is the shaded region bounded by the uh, the graph of f and the line L. Okay. Uh, it says find the area of R. So if we want to find the area of R, we can just do top minus bottom, the f of x curve minus the x-axis from this x-intercept, which if we use our calculator we can find uh, the x-intercept is at negative 1.373 to 0. Okay. And then that will give us the area of R. And then for B, um, we will find the area of S. It'll just be the tangent line minus this curve. So the tangent line is uh, going to be 3 minus 1 half x. And the way that we find that is uh, we know the ordered pair is going to be at 0, uh, 3, right? Order pairs at 0, 3. And then to find the slope, we can just find the derivative and then evaluate the derivative. So we can go through power rule and then for cosine, cosine becomes negative sine, and then plug in um, the x value, which is 0. When we plug in the x value, uh, we're going to get negative 1 half. And then we just write it in point slope form. So y minus 3 is equal to negative 1 half parentheses x minus 0. And then if we combine this uh, to solve for y, we get y is equal to 3 um, uh, minus 1 half x, or negative 1 half x plus 3. So that uh, this linear equation will act as the top graph, and the bottom graph is going to be f of x. So the top graph is 3 minus 1 half x. The bottom curve is going to be f of x. And then our bounds will be from 0. That's the left end point of region S to the right end point which is 3.389 so top curve minus bottom curve from the left to the right bound and that will give us the area of region S